four o'clock in the afternoon. I need to catch crappie for some dinner. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I'll show you how I'm doing it, what I'm hoping to achieve. So stay tuned guys. I think this ought to be some fun. So we're gonna throw a little bit of, uh, throw a little bit of everything at them. So I am using, first off, I'm gonna warm up, warm, get some warmies on my slip bobber. I think I've got that set for three feet right now. I'm gonna throw a worm on here. So I picked up, I've never seen these before, but I mean, these are 18 Canadian, Canadian night crawlers, blah, 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 from Walmart, but they're garlic scented. <laughs> and they absolutely are garlic scented. That is weird. We're gonna use those. Ugh. So let's get this guy out there first. So it can sit. Oh yeah, that's good, that's nice. There we go. First fish of the day. Hey, I'll take it. Let's go. Let's go. Probably a small little bluegill, but let's go. Yep, that's a little bluegill. All right. And how in the world did you get that so far down your gullet there, buddy? Look at that. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. All right, well, just a little bit bigger and that guy could be dinner. So let me get this hook out of his mouth. I'll be right back. All right, well, this guy's, he didn't fare very well. So we are going to keep him and he may be a tasty nug. After all, we'll put him in the bucket, leave him sit. I guess that's one of the two target species. I'll take bluegill. I really want some crappie though. So we'll keep trying. <clears throat> And uh, I'll clean that guy up a little bit later. All right. Well, that didn't take very long. Got a second fish on already. I think it's a little bit smaller than the last one we got. Still a bluegill, though. Oh. Yep. Just another bluegill. We may end up with a bluegill feast after all, guys. And quite frankly, to be honest with you, I'm actually okay with that. Because... I like bluegill. Yes, sir. There it is. In some way, somehow, these bluegill are absolutely gutting this hook. So let me work on getting this out of there. All right. Well, there's number two. We'll keep this up. And yeah, we're going to have a bluegill feast. I don't know what happened to my bobber on the other one. Oh, there it is now starting to worry thinking I had another fish and I wasn't ready with for it I'm fine with a bluegill catch and cook I really am bluegill are delicious I had uh, I'd never had bluegill until last year and they turned out amazing so we got a couple bluegill in there well okay uh, the bite's been bad slow I've been here now for <laughs> hour and a half almost two hours and i've caught two fish so a little bit early i mean I, I know it's a little bit early to be leaving but i want to get to my camping spot still and not have any issues there i don't think i'm going to but i don't want to take a chance so i'm going to grab my gear i'm going to go up and uh, i'm going to clean these fish get what i do have in a bag and uh i mean we've got a couple fish a couple crappie a little bit of bloody water but that's why we're keeping them or crappie excuse me those are bluegill but that's why we're keeping them we'll take them get them filleted up get some nuggets out of them i'll put them on ice and uh i'll head to the camping camping area i know it's been a little bit it's been really slow really bad slow bad 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 slow and uh I mean that's 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 fishing it's never perfect but that's all right i've got extra food too i brought some uh small i think they're what are the cheddar cheddar worse yeah cheddar worse i got some eggs for tomorrow morning so we're gonna go i'm gonna clean up the fish throw them on ice and i'm gonna head for the uh camping spot
All right, well, they're clean. They're not very much on there. They were small females. They were full of roe. Lots of eggs in there, but they were hungry, so am I. So I've got a couple little fillets that I'm gonna have tonight. It's not gonna really do it. So I've got a couple other things I'm gonna cook up too. I'll have some, uh, probably some cheddar or sausage and uh, some chips that'll get hide me by for the night. I'm gonna get these thrown in the cooler. Those will hold over until I'm good and ready for them. So wasn't much for fishing. It happens more often than it should. We're gonna head over to the campsite. So I'll see you guys there. Hey, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's really starting to help me understand what you guys are wanting to see hit the like button if you enjoy this video so far and leave a comment on what you'd like to see in the future make sure that you share it out that's a huge bit of this and the more that you share it facebook share it to friends family the further this channel is going to go along that's a huge way to support this and, and help this channel grow Well, all right, this is it. It's kind of a off grid, no amenities. When I say there's, it's off grid. I mean, there is, there's nothing. The, the closest bathroom is about a half mile up the road. It does have a nice fire pit. A lot of people camping it. It was the only reason why this is the only one open is because it's very small. There's not much to it. It's good for tents, but I'm gonna use my truck. This is probably gonna be the most basic camping I'm gonna do. Well, that's not true. I do have a tent that I'm going to use at some point this year. But I think for what I'm going to do tonight, I think I'm going to use this supposed non-stick pan. Um, I do have my breading for the bluegill right there. And I was smart enough to bring some oil. That's saying a lot considering I forget most things. What happens when you have ADD and a short attention span about that long? But I think I got everything tonight. I think I'm okay. Kids are out having fun. Surprisingly, the park was actually full. This is the only spot that was available. So, and that's fine, cool, whatever. This don't bother me. Ripping. Even got the old man out there doing it. They're having fun. <laughs> the old man's getting it. Getting it. It's just head down, tucked all the way under. Going as fast as that lawnmower engine will take him. Get ready for tonight. Here's our bluegill chunks. Not very much there. Get some bread for the hot dogs. And I'm going to give, I'm going to try to do some eggs in the morning. Cause, so, all right, well, I think it's probably getting close to six o'clock. I'm kind of hungry, so let's cook up some stuff. Pick up some of these fire starters. They work pretty good by themselves. They say there's no added anything on it, but I still find that hard to believe. There is a tick already. That didn't take long. There's a tick on me. I, what the hell? I don't even want to deal with that. I don't think I've been camping and I think the last time I went camping was, it was before I met my wife. Actually, I think the last time I went camping was before my son was born and that was 21 years, 21 and a half years ago. 
So it had to be 22, 23 years ago. Not that I didn't want to. That's just how it worked out. Sometimes you got to slow down. Got to get out and live a little bit. The hustle and bustle will get to you before too long. This is nice, though. This is nice. Probably should have brought more wood for the fire. It's alright. I think I'll survive. Hot dogs. Nice clean tailgate. That ought to do nicely. Throw those right in there. No, I don't have ketchup. No, I don't have mustard. I don't like ketchup and mustard on a cheddar worse. I never have. Ever. Just they're so good by themselves. But look at that. Perfectly done. So good. Mm. Oh, that's good. Holy crap. They're probably asking, why didn't you just put them right on the grate? My grate's rusty as hell. I like rust to eat, but not that much. I'll pass. Hickory Hills County Park. They do have buildings here. It's just, there's... Clear at the other end. I mean, it's probably... It's got to be at least a half mile. Hickory Hills is what it's called. Pretty neat. Free free camping. So if you just want to come out and do what I'm doing or pop up a tent or... I mean, there's other people here with campers. I mean, it's got a little pond at the far end, which I wish I would have stopped at first, but... Well, I don't know if it's hot enough. It's certainly acting like it is. But it smells good. We'll put this in there. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably the slowest cook it's ever going to go through. Backup plan is if this doesn't work, I'll just get my portable little cooker guy and we'll finish it off there. I just want some bluegill. So we'll see if this works. We'll bring it back. Well, I had to change it up. Fire's just not hot enough anymore. So I had to grab my burner and continue cooking the bluegill that way. That's cooking way better. Much hotter. Love the smoke in the face. That's always a plus when you're camping. All right, I think these are... I would say these are done. I don't think I want to cook them any longer than that. So I'm going to cut the heat off here. Got to get them off the fire and just put them on something else. Take these put them right on the plate. They're the smallest little of bites. But boy, they're going to be good as soon as they cool off a little bit. All right. True test. They're crispy. They're a little dry. But they were also cooking for quite a while. But they taste all right. Oh yeah, flour, seasonal, garlic, flour, seasonal, garlic, a little bit of slap your mama. Just a little bit. I can't do much anymore. Boy, that's good. Yeah, I could do this every night. Well, I'm going to finish these up. I'm going to get my truck ready, put some things away. If you guys like these little camping, let me know that too. I was up in the air on doing this at all. I was like, man, there's so many people that do this already. If you guys like these, leave, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to kind of get things tidied up. All right, well, it's about uh, 9.30 at night. It's nice and dark, pretty relaxed. I think I'm going to take it and call it a night. Pretty good day. We had did some fishing, caught some bluegill, turned those into nuggets. Got here to the camping spot, pretty chilled out, and uh, ate a little bit of dinner. So I'm going to call it a night here. So I will see you guys in the morning. If anything interesting happens, I guess I'll turn this on. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll make up some breakfast. So... You guys have a good night. Morning. It is, uh... It's 5.15. Man, I'm not, I'm not sleeping. 
good at all. I've been up about six times tonight. So I think I'm just gonna get up. I'm still gonna make breakfast. I'm still hungry. I'm just not sleeping good. Need some better pillows. Need some better, thicker match. I need a mattress or something on here. It's not working. Trial by error, right? But I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna make some breakfast. So I'm gonna grab you guys and we'll go do that. That was a rough night. To say the least, that was a rough night. The turkeys are gobbling. I I slept. Actually, I went to bed early. But I struggled. Got to do some of the setup. This bed's got to be got to be more of a bed right now it's just sleeping on a piece of plywood more or less you gotta come up with a pillow pillow system that actually works right now that pillow is small to say the least first let me get my coffee right in here it's gonna be a little bit oh I look like crap I look way more tired than I feel extra strong for morning like the morning get my sweetener out oh it smells good oh my god and my creamer you guys say what you want to. I like creamer in my coffee. That's a hot cup of coffee. The cup is even hot, which I'm not real fond of, by the way. Boy, that tastes good. That'll do it. That will do it. 100%. I'm going to drink some of this coffee. Try to knock the bags out of my eyes. I'm going to make some breakfast here. So, hang in there. We're about out of here. I don't know, I may actually travel back home, just get some sleep. Morning, woodpecker. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed... <clears throat> well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, but... Me hanging out. Camping, doing a little bit of fishing, cooking.
coffee is good, the eggs are cooking. <clears throat> this wasn't too bad. I mean, overall, I gotta fix the <clears throat> the sleeping arrangements. The sleeping bag itself is more for a bundle, bundle sleeping, so I'm gonna see if I can fix up blankets. I fought the sleeping bag like half the night and that's why I didn't sleep very good. I go to turn or twist or something and <clears throat> I get twisted up in the sleeping bag. So, is that my fault? Yeah, I suppose. But, also I haven't been camping in quite a few years. So, <clears throat> this coffee is good though. Toast. Hot dog bun for toast. Because yeah, why not, right? If it works, it works. You guys do your eggs how you want to. I like mine a certain way. Saturday morning. I was sitting there thinking earlier, is it just me or am I the only person that really likes breakfast a lot more on Saturday than they do any other day of the week? I know it's just eggs, but that's good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's here. I got it. I'm going to eat breakfast. I'm going to get my stuff ready and I'm going to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> if you guys got any ideas on how I can improve <clears throat> some of this, simply not extravagant, not hard or expensive or anything like that. Just simple stuff. If you got ideas, Drop it in the comments down below. Also, don't forget, we have new merch out too. Link's in the description. You guys go check it out. Pretty good stuff. The shirt quality is on par. The print doesn't wash away. It's on par. The only difference is I can't do a lot of different prints. But I don't care. I, I like the quality over anything so guys go check it out i appreciate all of you guys coming along i'm gonna get eaten and clean up and take off so we'll see you guys later bye